Hi guys. So, <laughs> what is going on? Okay, I'm Mel. Welcome to Lethalia's Little Hook with Melanie. And welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're returning. I'm getting pretty good at that. I'm remembering that. I've got some openings, some happy mail, and they're both winnings. I've won twice recently. Well, one's not a winning. One, I was gifted by the winner. So, yeah, that happened at Sunday Fun Day with Joe, the Garden State Gardener. I'm going to link him below. He's awesome. Sunday Fun Day is awesome. You should go if you haven't gone yet. So, I will, you know, link his channel. Check it out if you haven't checked it out. Sunday Fun Day is 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Sunday on his channel. He, you register by leaving a comment on his Sunday Fun Day registration video, which usually comes out between Thursday and Saturday, usually Saturday. And then you go to Sunday Fun Day and he, if you registered, your name is on the spinny wheelie thingy, and he spins it around with polka music. Yes, polka music. It's fun. And we all chill and hang out, and he um, shouts out four channels, usually four, and they can be gardening, homesteading, crafting, uh, hot pepper, all sorts of channels, quilting, you know, you name it. He has a wide variety of interests, so he shouts out a wide variety of channels. They could be trucking channels. And um, lately he's been doing round tables in the first part of the Sunday Fun Day. And that is very interesting. You learn a lot with these round tables. Uh, this week, just yesterday, was a crafty round table, and the week before it was a hot pepper round table. So, I mean, but anyway, so my friend and the sweet, sweet Bailey Nookter Cat on the Prowl Creations, Bailey, won a Karen anniversary cake, and she gifted it. To someone who was there and she picked me it came I'm so excited yes I'm going to use a sharp object to open the box but okay we all saw that slip just to cut through the tape not to cut into the box it's not going anywhere near the yarn you're all like <gasps> hold our breath Ziva, don't come near mommy when she's got the professional opening tool. Okay, so this one I was gifted. He jammed that. Oh my gosh. The one he showed on there was white with blue dots. This one's multicolored. Don't tell him he sent me the wrong one. I like this one better. He really did. Did he build the box around it? <clears throat> okay, the one he showed was just white with blue dots. This one's all sorts of colors. Oh my gosh. I love it. Oh, what color is this? This is called Sweet and Sour Dots. I have two from last year, which I still haven't touched. And I didn't think I was getting any of the new ones this year, which I was like, they're all such bright colors last year. Didn't, I tried to get the brightest colors from last year, but I only got them once they went on sale for $19.99. Not buying them when they were $40. Oh, this is so soft. But um, then they came out with these dotted ones, and I'm like, how does that work up? What does it look like all work? And, of course, they're showing it in some sort of, like, Tunisian stitch. Is that knit? In, it looks knit, so it, I think it's a t double... It's a knit blanket. So, 
Yeah. You need to contrast, contrast colors to contrast colors. But this is called Sweet and Sour Stripes. It says it's a super bulky six. We all know it's more like a five. And it's 100% acrylic, 35.3 ounces. My puppy, Ziva, who you can see right here. Yes, right. Hi, baby. You going to give mommy a kiss? No? No, no kisses on camera? I give you a kiss. Okay. Has to smell everything. 35.3 ounces, 1,000 grams, 1,061 yards of a five weight. I'm saying five weight. So lovely. I already know what I'm using the other two for. I I know what I'm using them for. This is this is awesome. This is thank you, Bailey. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And I was I was happy with the white with blue, but so much extra color makes me so much happier. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to put that aside for a second. And then I'm going to pet it more later. When no one's watching but my dog. <laughs> and then I have this. Which is a prize I won at Erin Crafting Kitties. Thousand subscriber um, monetization party. I was, I was like exhausted. And I had even taken a nap that day. But... I couldn't sleep, so I was just resting, and I'm like, I'm going to leave early, and then they're like, we're going to end, and I'm like, okay, I can stay the extra five minutes, and I won a prize, so it was good I stayed the extra five minutes. This is from Nicole, fibromyalgia, fibromyalgia, underscore yarn, underscore resin, and I am so excited for this one, because... I got one of her resin pieces. It is a magnetic resin tray, and I already know where I want to put it when I get my craft room, because I'm going to have a sewing station, and I thought, you have to put your, I'm not looking, I'm not looking, you have to put your pins, and a magnetic tray. <gasps> Look at the pretty. It has glitter. Glitter. You have to put your pins down and a magnetic tray. <gasps> the underside is gorgeous. I love. Okay. Ooh. Can you see the glitter? I always hold it at the wrong spot. Can you see the glitter? There is some, some like glitter running through it some little gold running through it but look at the under that is so cool <laughs> i know that's the white because i've seen her do some of the live uh resin and she has to puff the white to get the it to push through i think i don't know how she states it but that is so cool do I have anything magnetic besides my opening tool, which is huge? I don't... I have a... Oh, yeah! That's pulling it. It's a steel-encased pen. Hold on. And, of course, I push it to the other side. But that is pulling it to the tray. Oh, so cool. That is so cool. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, Erin. Thank you, Bailey, and thank you, Joe. I am a happy girl. Happy, 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 happy. And please go check out these people. I will link them all below. And I have, I put this too close to my face. And now I have yarn fiber in my mouth. It happens. If it weren't. If it wasn't going to be yarn fiber, it was going to be my dog's hair. You live with what you love. 
I hope you're all having a wonderful Monday. And tell me what you love today, okay? Now, shine bright like the stars you are. Enjoy your Monday. It is 27 degrees up here on the mountain. So I am enjoying being inside in the heated house that we went out today. We went to the storage unit, traded in our fall decorations, and got our Christmas decorations. And we're going to be doing that a little later. And until then, I'm going to turn on my heated blanket, snuggle up with this puppy who thinks it's nap time, keeps trying to get under the blankets, and probably wrap some Christmas presents. I love you all. My hair is a mess. I see that. It just doesn't want to do. Last time I went to the hairdresser in July, I was supposed to go last month again, she said, let's cut some shorter pieces for texture. No, we're not cutting bangs. Um, they will just add texture. And they became bangs when they grew out. <laughs> so I can't get rid of them now. They just keep flopping. Anyway, as I was saying, have a wonderful day. Shine bright like the wonderful stars you are and know you are loved. Bye.